55 Cancri E is an exoplanet 41 light years away from the Earth. So the thing that really stands out about this planet is that it is in part made of diamonds. Obviously, that would really incentivize us to go there and mine this planet sometime in the distant future. It is estimated that the worth of the whole planet is between 1 and 30 nanillion dollars. That number, by the way, has 30 zeros. But at the same time, if we do that, what actually would happen is that the price of diamonds would drop immediately because of such abundance. When there is an abundance of any resource, the price of it drops. So if we really were to go there, that previous value that is between 1 and 30 nanillion dollars would then not be true. In fact, in that case, diamonds would become essentially worthless. So then, let's visit this planet and see what is going on there. The first step to visiting it is obviously reaching it. Now, to reach this planet, going at the fastest speed in the universe would take 41 years, because the planet is 41 light years away, and the speed of light is the fastest. But it is unrealistic to expect us to reach that speed. But what could very much be possible in the future is to create a spaceship going at 1% the speed of light by using engines with antimatter. In that case, it would take us 4,100 years to reach 55 Cancri E, which is obviously insanely long. But considering that in this future reality we created this spaceship which is able to achieve 1% the speed of light, then it is not that crazy to imagine that we also perfected anti-aging technology. So that trip of 4,100 years would be achievable. Also, 1% the speed of light is at least 3,000 times faster than a shot bullet. So that just pretty much tells you how actually distant this planet is. You would need to go at a speed which is 3,000 times faster than a shot bullet in order to get to this planet in 4,100 years. Our brains can barely comprehend the scale of this universe. So now we reach the 55 Cancri system. Upon getting closer, it would be noticeable that the 55 Cancri system is a binary system, meaning you would notice two stars shining, 55 Cancri A and 55 Cancri B. Now, we would want to go to the star which shines much brighter and is much bigger, which is Cancri A, because that is where our diamond planet is. Cancri A is a star very similar to our Sun. They pretty much share almost the same mass and diameter and are both main sequence stars. So as we would approach 55 Cancri E, the planet, we would immediately notice just how close this planet is to its parent star. And that is because it is around 2 million kilometers away from its parent star, which is 75 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Now, while looking at the planet, from a distance it wouldn't immediately look like it is made out of diamonds, because those diamonds are likely under the surface. Now, we know that the planet is partially made out of diamonds because we know that roughly a third of this planet's mass is carbon. So, what is likely is that due to very high temperatures and pressure, a big chunk of carbon that is present there turned into diamonds. Now, while looking at the surface of this planet from a distance, it would be obvious that there are huge chunks of land which would be producing light. That is because you would be looking at the huge lava oceans that are present on the surface. Due to the fact that this planet is so close to the star, that makes the surface temperature on the day side of the planet reach 2500 degrees Celsius, which is enough to melt rocks and that would be creating the lava oceans present there. And that is also five times hotter than the surface of Venus, which is the hottest planet in the solar system. But also due to this close distance between this planet and its parent star, what always happens in such situations is that the planet is tidally locked. So on the day side of it, it is always day, 
and on the night side of it, it is always night. Now, if we wanted to land on this planet, then we would need a suit that is at least capable of withstanding temperatures that are around 1300 degrees Celsius, which is insane. So, if such a suit existed in this future, then we would be actually able to physically land on the night side of the planet, where temperatures are not 2500 degrees Celsius, but 1300 degrees Celsius. Now, in the night side of the planet, the surface would likely contain much less lava and more land to actually land on, since the temperature on this side of the planet would be two times colder compared to the day side, meaning rocks wouldn't melt as much. So let's say you have this suit that could withstand those temperatures. As you would land, you would clearly notice that this planet has an atmosphere. This atmosphere is around 1.4 times thicker than the one present on Earth, meaning the pressure is a bit higher. This planet is the first super-Earth exoplanet that atmosphere was detected on, and there is a chance that this atmosphere contains a similar composition to the one on Earth. Now, besides the noticeable atmosphere, upon landing it would be also noticeable that it isn't completely dark. If the planet was in the right position around its star, you would be able to see the other star that orbits. That star would provide a tiny bit of visibility in the night side of the surface, so you would be able to see what you are doing. As you would try to move, it would be apparent that moving is a lot more exhausting than on Earth. You would feel extremely heavy. You would be exhausted simply by walking in mere minutes. That is because 55 Cancri E is a huge planet that has a mass eight times greater than the Earth, and has a diameter that is almost double the Earth's diameter. So it is a very heavy and dense object, which causes its surface gravity to be double the Earth's surface gravity. So that is why you would feel so heavy, and that is why if you drop something, you would see that it would fall to the ground much faster than it would on Earth. That is why it is considered a super-Earth a huge dense terrestrial planet. Now, besides the occasional lava lake that you would stumble upon, you would most likely be able to find lots of volcanoes that are erupting. You would likely be able to spot them since they explain the huge temperature variations over the surface of this planet. So if you see one, you better stay away, since it could get even hotter than it already is. Moving around the night side of this planet, it would be apparent that this is not a place humans would want to colonize. The conditions on this planet are way too extreme for it to be habitable in any sense. It might look like a cool planet, but in reality it is so hot that there is no reason to colonize it. Even underground diamonds wouldn't be a good enough of a reason, since they would be really hard to get to, especially in these conditions. If you stayed on this planet exploring it for 17 hours, then you would officially be there for a year on that planet, since the planet takes 17 hours in order to complete an orbit, meaning every 17 hours is a new year there. Upon lifting off the surface with your spaceship, you would notice that the parent star 55 Cancri A would appear to be enormous, as it would take up the majority of the view you would be looking at. But you would also need some special goggles to look at this star, because the brightness would be unbearable. Otherwise, you would go blind immediately. So that is what a visit to this planet that has a huge chunk of diamonds present in its composition would be like. It would be quite an experience, but you would also need to have technology that is way beyond what we currently have.